Hello, hello, hello everyone. Alex here with Luxat Games and we're here to play a uh, Pioneer League with Jeskai Ascendancy Combo. Let's see what we can do. Uh, Jeskai Ascendancy Combo, for those of you that may not be familiar with the deck where we wait for our first round opponent, is a deck that focuses around coming off with Jeskai Ascendancy and either Emery or Sylvan Awakening. Um, Let's see if I can give you a practical demonstration. We won the die roll. This hand is not very good, so we'll take a mulligan. This hand's very similar to the first, but we'll keep it. Bottom that. And see if we can once upon a time into a second land. The opponent's username is Octopus with a Hammer, which is kind of neat. Let's start with a once. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab a spire. Uh, play spire because our opponent knows about it and pass this turn. So next turn we probably cast Emery and the turn after that probably strategic play. Right, opponent goes island pass. Our draw is an astral cornucopia. All right, so Emery costs one now. I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and strategic planning then. Finding. Another strategic planning is not exactly the best. Silver Awakening is a combo card, but I think we just want to grab another, another one of those and throw a bunch of cards in the grave. The next turn we're hoping to sil uh, strategic planning into a land. Search for his content. Uh-oh, our opponent's on turns, I think. All right, so game one's definitely a game we're going to want to try and get. So treasure cruise there, not exactly the ideal draw. Once again, we're going to try and strategic planning into a land. Just guy Ascendancy is the best follow-up prize I could have hoped for. All right, let's go ahead and pass to the turn. We will have this Tormod script, which interacts with their Surge First Conta, which is kind of nice. Put the opponent cast here. Looks like it might be a Narset. It's a Healy. Well, that's much better for us than a Narset would have been. Mox Amber, that's fine. Land. Ooh, an Expedite. Expedite. Hmm. So I think all good things. Hmm. hmm. So we can play one Mon Emery. Expedite it. Play Mox Amber, Treasure Cruise. But that's all we do this turn? Yeah, that seems fine. Right. So, cast Emery. Trigger, mill some cards. Uh, expedite the Emery. Draw another card, hopefully it's a land. It's a strategic planning. Uh, Emery's gonna go ahead and target Mox Amber. We're gonna cast Mox Amber. We're gonna use this to treasure cruise. And draw. All right, we did hit the land, so we are looking to be in a position to combo off next turn. So let's go ahead and pass to our opponent. Hopefully they do not have removal for our Emery. So they mill planes. So we need our opponent whose username is Octopus with a Hammer to have no removal for our Emery. Both the Chandra looks like removal. 
All right, good news is we do have this other Emery here. Maybe the option wasn't to haste up the Emery and just treasure cruise first and play the Emery second. Then we could haste this Emery and win the game. But if we draw any zero mana spell, we probably still get there with Jeskai Ascendancy. Opponent is Teamer Planeswalkers. I love this format. It's so fun. You may scry to opponent. So this Tormod, we're both Mox Amber decks, it's kind of funny. This Tormod script, I don't want to have to use it. So it's, it's available to us, but not really what we want to do. That is the Expedite. So, quite unfortunately, quite unfortunately, we can play Emery, then play Jeskai Ascendancy, but then we don't have the mana to expedite. We can play Emery and then hope to expedite into. All right. This is the this is the line. All right. So Emery mill. Please don't mill a bunch of lands. Three lands. Expedite Emery. And hope to draw into a land. Let's see what we do. Carry added. All right. So not this turn. But next turn we will be. So let's float a blue here. Treasure cruise. Draw a couple cards. By a couple I mean a lot. Alright. And... This can now target one mod script or Mox Amber, but I guess I'm just going to do Mox Amber. We have no zero drop, unfortunately. Oh no. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I couldn't have done it. That, that's fine. Yeah, unfortunately, we have no zero drop. So. Playing this tapped, playing Sylvan Carry added, and passing the turn. Alright, opponent, please don't kill us. Please don't kill us. If you cannot kill us, we will attempt to kill you. Kind of how magic works sometimes, though. Alright, opponent kept on top. That's not the best sign for us. We had to scry two with Onissa. So I guess we start with Jeskai Ascendancy next turn. And then Emery, Jeskai Ascendancy is infinite with infinite mono with carry added if they can't interact. So the opponent plays here. Looks like a Teferi. That's Teferi. He is the hero of Dominaria. So we're just hoping to rip a land here then. One, two, three, five, six. Not too sure actually. What did the opponent draw? Opponents kind of got me on the edge of my seat. Alright, made another Mox Amber. What form on a walker are you casting? Oh, is it that Kismina or whatever? Jace Architect. Okay.
Days I'm doing and fires of invention, huh? Here's your pile, opponent. I have a, I'm assuming you're about to put one land in, or one card into your hand. You sure did. We have a day's undoing. Pack us for one. Pack us for two. All right, let's see what we draw. This is a big turn for us. Zero drop there was pretty big. So we get to... Get down Jeskai Ascendancy. If I tap the right mono, of course. I'm going to use this for blue. Jeskai Ascendancy. Okay. So, this doesn't tap for mono currently. We want to play Treasure Cruise, I think. Uh, not yet, though. We need some more cards in our grave. Okay, so. Emery's even on Mana currently because it turns on this Mox Amber. So let's go ahead and go with that because it also mills a whole bunch of cards. Yep. Let's go for a Cruise. Six, seven. So we absolutely will be drawing a card here. And discarding a card. Unfortunately, that is not the land you wanted to find in this situation. Untap and then draw three cards. Retraction Helix. Now that's the card we wanted to find. All right, so Floated Blue off this. Retraction Helix targeting this. So we draw a card. We, uh, we're going to discard this once upon a time. Untap our creatures. So I can now return Astral Cornucopia. Uh, I guess it's going to be Mox Amber for infinite blue. Uh, yes, draw a card. Uh, discard Spire Bluff. Okay. Go ahead and return this. Cast this. Stack these. Draw a card. Discard once upon a time. Untap. Load a blue. Play a mana confluence. Play green. Green. Uh, white. Sylvan Awakening, blow to blue. So we're going to draw a card here. All right, opponent concedes to the Sylvan Awakening. Sweet. All right, so this seems like a matchup where these Pithing Needles are going to be pretty awesome to name Teferi. Mentors seem like they're going to be a good sideboard plan. See, what are we cutting? Probably two crews. They seem pretty good that game, but I think that's probably the right call. And expedite. Four more cards if we want to bring in these mentors, which I, I think we do. Mentor tokens pressure. I guess they also have Sahili, but mentor tokens definitely pressure. Hmm. <laughs> I guess we can also cut two once upon a time. That's really just that would help us get to Emery. A Sylvan Awakening. We still have access to one. And a Cornucopia. Alright, let's try it like this. If anyone out there has different sideboarding suggestions, please, I'd love to hear them. Just leave them in the comments down below if you're watching on YouTube in the future.
Attraction Helix makes it pretty hard to hate us out because we can bounce most of the permanent based hate. Front did pretty well against us there, though, that game. So, I'm not saying we're anywhere out of the woods yet, but we did get a turn where we got to combo off, which was kind of fun. Love me some Attraction Helix, that's for sure. Alright, so we're actually going to put away our sideboard. That was for uh, formats where you wish from your sideboard. Uh, this hand is a turn one Emery. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Needle's probably going on Tefri. Tefri? Opponent could be playing almost any walkers in the game, though, which is a little bit nervous. Nerving. Unnerving? Definitely unnerving. What have you, opponent? I'm ready to battle. Are you? Oops. Get back. Got something. Alright, fine. Lead with an Aether Hub into the tune. Yep. Charge up the Aether Hub. Charge in the batteries. Let's hope to rip a land off the top or a Jeskai Ascendancy. Both of those would just be insane. I grab Swamp. Uh oh, that's a little scary. That's a little scary. Swamp uh, leads me to believe that there might be a, um, what's it called in our future? The scary one, the one that I hate. Did we mill Mox? We did not mill Mox, we did mill Jeskai Sentence either. Um, the card that I hate that scares me is Lost Legacy. Could also be Unmoored Ego out of them. Both of them work. Uh, yeah, sure. So, we're going to go ahead and give Emery Haste and draw a card. Well, who we hit the Mana Confluence. Let's go ahead and cast Tormod's Crypt. Cost us a life, but I feel that that's worth it. Then we'll pass the turn. Next turn, if we hit a land, we get to cast Mentor. And then even if they lost Legacy S or Unmoored Ego S, we might be able to still go off with Mentor. Let's say you opponent Narset. All right, that one's pretty good against us too. We really want to needle the Narset. Let's see what they reveal to the Narset. What are you going to tell us, opponent, about your hand? We have this Pithing Needle. We need to know what to name. Guess this is casting it? Yeah. All right, sure. So there's a Graph Digger's Cage. Draw. All right, well, we hit the land. So let's go ahead and go to combat. Tag Narset. Hope they don't have Tefri and jam this monastery man. Go ahead, opponent. The next turn we should be able to cast two spells, which will get us a couple tokens. We're hoping to be able to ride this mentor to victory. Dum da dum da dum da dum da dum dum. Dum da dum da dum da dum dum da 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 dum. Sorry for anyone that just got big and rich stuck in their head. <laughs> All right, they do cash in their Narset. Let's see what they grab. Snapping off another Narset. That's kind of funny. They cannot cast the other Narset because of their current basic situation. 
Draft Digger's Cage is fine. So Emery's turned off. We can't even cast the cards in our grave. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and crypt them. And then four cards plus three mana means that I can treasure cruise this turn. Before they get that other Narset down. That seems like something we want to do. Oh. I don't want to take damage off this. I have to take damage off that. So since these cards in our graveyard are no longer good for uh, casting because of the Graph Digger's Cage, we're just going to draw three. <laughs> Retraction Helix, huh? Alright, well now if we ever draw a Jeskai Ascendancy, we win the game. Pass turn to our opponent. Probably just going to put Narset back down. So, why we win if we draw Jeskai Ascendancy? Um, Retraction Helix goes Bounce Stamping Sphere. And then infinitely Bounce Astral Cornucopia with a Monastery Mentor in play. <laughs> that, and that Monastery Mentor by itself is just lethal at that point. What have you, Octopus with a Hammer? Sarkon the Masterless. Uh, whenever a creature attacks you, it deals one damage to that creature. Uh, okay. That's fine. That's a big one. They're going to make a 4 4 dragon. Yep. Alright, let's go to our turn. Let's, let's harness our energy and draw Jeskai Ascendancy. So close. All right, so I kind of like this line as well. So we're just going to cast another mentor. Cast retraction helix targeting the token. Put these on the stack. All right, and then this 2-2 gains the ability to return a non-lane permanent to the hand. We're going to go ahead and bounce this here dragon. So that's fine. His ability doesn't matter so much. So I think that's all for this turn because we still can't cast cards in Graveyard. So this is going for them. Actually, might as well just get Sark and the Masterless off the table. Take two. So we have Tormod's Crypt up, so we don't want to auto yield. But our battlefield looks pretty good. If this is just an R set, we're pretty fine with that. It'll probably be their only spell this turn due to the Ampening Sphere. Yep. This uh, Interplanar Beacon has gained our opponent like four life. I mean this match. But still, it's a very low deck building cost. And it fixes all of their mana. We won! Alright, we're starting off this league with a 2-0, which is a pretty good start. Mentor Sideboard Package confirmed amazing. All right, we won the die roll. Let's see what we start with here. That would be amazing with some number of lands in it. And this hand's pretty good. Let's keep it. So I actually think we've been the cruise for now. And let's go ahead and cast this to see what we find. Carry out, it's fine. So, Confluence Pass. 
And then on two, we'll play carry added. On three, we'll probably strategic planning. Let's see what the opponent's playing. Ooh, burn. Ooh, burn. Uh oh. Rut row. We started with the Mana Confluence against Burn. Hopefully, they don't have Idle on. Idle on, bro. Oh. But I guess just in case they do, we'll go ahead and get one of our drops down. But I want Jeskai Ascendancy next turn because then we kill in two. Yeah, I mean, show us what you got, opponent. You're using Boris Charm for double strike. I think I'm okay with that. That is six damage that did not hit our face. Sure, damage can't be prevented this turn, just double. Okay, sure. That's fine. So Emery is our best draw next turn. Astral Cornucopia. All right, so. Strategic planning. Spire Buff Canal, I guess. Pass to the turn. All right, so I believe we probably have, if we even have that, one more turn to draw Jeskai Ascendance. I don't know if we even have that. But we're going to take one here. Thankfully, we got all those Wild Slashes out of their hand as well before they got the Soul Scar Mage. So we did not draw Jeskai Ascendancy this turn. I believe that means we've died. I believe that means we've died. So going to game two, uh, not much changes. We're just going to focus even more on the combo. Because they're a mono red deck. It looks like they're prowess, luckily, which means that they're not playing idle on. More than likely. So three lands in hand to please opponent. Attack is for three pass. That's where we get to win this game. This tap actually saves us a life over this spire. Great two one one elementals with haste. Uh oh. Two, four, six, eight. We've died, chat. We have died. Super dead. Super dead. All right. I like mentors against them because they make a lot of blockers, and I mean a lot. We don't really have the time to go on a cruise. And Void Snares and Unsummon just seems bad. I think we just want to try and hope to combo them. If the opponent's familiar with the format, they'll know what deck we're on immediately. If they're not familiar with the format, uh, we might have a chance that they miss board. So, even though we shall saw Chandra Acolyte of Flame, uh, we don't want Pithing Needle. Excuse my yawn, so sorry. This. You see this? This is the enemy. We must defeat the enemy. We must destroy the mountain deck. We are the combo deck. We are supposed to beat mountain decks. Let's get it. All right, we would like to play first. We'd also like an amazing hand, please. Uh, uh, I'm pointing at the mono confluences. Uh, uh, I'm gonna keep this, but. But note all my uhs. They're very important. So this is Mono Confluence Pass. And probably Expedite on their guy. If it's a Soul Scar Mage, I'll make sure to do it post combat. Sure. Uh, 
sure. Let's give it haste. All right, retraction helix is a start. We're looking for Emery now. We have to look a couple deep for Emery. It's going to be a little painful though. Hmm. All right, let's pass the turn. We did not find uh, Emery there or Jeskai Ascendancy. Uh, the reason why we took this line is it gives us multiple draws at Jeskai Ascendancy to still combo off and kill them because we have the Helix already. Oh, look, it's Soulscar Mage. Understandably, though, they let it off on the two power thing. Is it just planning here for Emory? No, because we can't cast it, right? Our best odds of winning this game involve playing this carry added. All right, let's pass the turn. Bolt us. All right. Shock us, that's fine. Not looking too good, chat. Looking like we're gonna die to the red deck, especially with our mana confluences. They go rar, we go block. Blockaroo. All right. Uh, Jeskai Ascendancy off the top, please. That does it. We get it. Do they have a way to give plus one, plus one to the team? Okay, sure, they're going to give... Uh... Oh, they're just going to do four damage to us. Sure. It's actually going to be six damage with prowess. Looks like, looks like we're going to fall to 1-1, one, one, chat, but I believe that we can rip Jeskai Ascendancy, assuming we don't die this combat. Sure, opponent. Okay, we go to five. Skewer. Oh no! Oh no, that turns off our lands. That turns off our lands. Well, we hit Emery. So we only have one of our lands. That's so rough that it was, um, so rough, so rough. They hit it. All right, so Emery. Maybe they just don't have another burn spell in their hand. Maybe they just don't have another burn spell in their hand and I can block. So I can make a blue here. Cast Mox Amber. And concede the game. Misclick. All right. Finally got us there. Very unlikely that they didn't have any spell in their two card hand plus draw step, but nonetheless, definitely clicked on the wrong Mox Amber. Uh, let's join this match. Woo, we won the die roll. This hand is pretty good if we get another land off this once upon a time, so we're going to keep it. One green producing land, please. Oh. Alright, so is there anything I could hit that would make me want to do this on one? Instead of taking another draw step towards it. Nope. So we're just going to play Hollowed Fountain Tapped and pass. There are matchups I may want to just do it now, but I think it's correct just to pass. All right, this looks like it might be the mirror. 
We did hit Emery, and we also hit our Mana Source. Uh, we need Mana way more. Alright, go ahead and shock this in and play Carry Added. And then we have the money, Mana for Ascendancy next turn. No four spikes in this format. I, well, no one mana four spike. Sensor's a real magic card. We don't, we don't like censorship around here. Hopefully we draw a land start. Well, I guess we get to go off with just having Tormod's Crypt next turn. Brawl. All right, so is our opponent the Phoenix deck or is our opponent trying to do something with Storm? That just wins the game, right? Start with this, just Sky Ascendancy. Formage Crypt Cast triggers. Yes. Well, who we hit Mox Amber. So now if we hit, when we hit em Emery, we'll have infinite blue. Blue, retraction helix. And, yep. Uh, just go to Smaller Confluence for now. We'll hit more lands later. So we're going to target this. We're going to play this. Put the triggers on the stack. Draw. Uh, how much crypt is self enabling? But it's already in the graveyard. So yeah, this is this is fine. So we're actually gonna add a red here. Next, but just to draw a card, we'll also loot. Yep. Uh, discard spire of industry. Draw. Draw Tormod's Crypt. Right. Mox Amber, Triggers. Draw. Discard Carry Added. Untap. Red. Dissolves. Play Tormod's Crypt. Loot. Discard Spire Bluff Canal. Untap. Dissolves. Return Mox Amber. Yes, Smog Amber. Loot. Uh, Mono Confluence. So we're just looking for Emery here, and we already have the Expedite to make it hasty. Yes, draw. Hmm. I guess we're never getting second just guy sentency really down, so let's go. Draw, yep. Discard. Dissolves. Bounce. Play. Triggers. Yes. Second retraction helix doesn't really do anything, so we're going to discard that. The first retraction helix will be plenty. Uh, especially because we get to bounce their blocker. When we eventually find Emery, it will be lethal. Strategic planning, we'll discard that. Amber, play mock Amber. Trigger, draw a discard. Yes, it's got strategic planning, untaps. Oh, well, it's, it's actually getting a little more fluid for us, so let's keep going. Yes, discard carry added, untaps. Bounce it back to our hand, cast it again. 
this guy lands. So this Astral Cornucopia makes mana same as land because it untaps the carry added for no mana. There's our Emery. So now we actually do discard the Astral Cornucopia. Tap for a blue, play Emery. Emery Mills. Expedite the Emery. Uh, we do not want to loot anymore. So, haste and draw. So now we can bounce Brawl and start casting Tormach Crypts over and over again. So, always know now. Alright, we got him. Got him. Opponent felt it worth their time to go ahead and concede now. That was pretty good. Pretty good. So, let's see. What do we want to do here? I honestly don't remember what they were playing. <laughs> One advantage, I guess, of forcing us to combo off. That That's kind of hilarious. All right, so I guess against everything, we bring in these mentors pretty much. Cut two treasure crews. Uh, our opponent's the Phoenix deck. Yeah, yeah, they had a brawl in play. Uh, so yeah, these Tefris are fine too because they bounce thing in the ice. They bounce. Yeah. Our opponent's mostly going to be on counter spells. I don't think we need like, these once upon a time. And one expedite should be fine. Right like this. All right, well, we went down to two treasure, cru treasure crews, and we have one air opening in. We're going to go ahead and mulligan this. Do I feel lucky? I'm going to go ahead and keep this and bottom the treasure crews. So we really want to hit a land here. Really want to hit a land. If we do, we get to planning and kind of start to put things together. Well, this while this does require we play out Tormod's Crypt, we can now expedite their creature. And since they saw two expedites game one, they may also just concede to that. Thinking that we still have the second one in deck. Basic land resolves. Is this a brawl? A nothing. All right, no cycling for us, unfortunately. Draw land. Well, while that's kind of like drawing a land, and we are going to play it out, we have to pass the turn now. So a little bit rough for us there. A little bit rough, but screw beats flood, giving given enough time. So maybe, maybe that's how this goes. Land. Sylvan awakening. All right. Seeing the downside of Expedite not being able to cycle without a creature is that you can't cycle it to draw a land. So hopefully opponent plays a Brawl or something this turn. Looks like they're just passing as well. The opponent, if we just don't do anything, then you won't have anything to counter. All right, strategic planning. Wow, that just went from bad to worse, didn't it? <laughs> All right. Strategic planning. Would you like to mystical dispute this opponent? All right, we'll take carry added and pass to the turn. We're seeing, we still need Jeskai ascendancy. That's for sure. All right, opponent passing to the turn. Have to wonder what they have in hand. I'm imagining it's a lot of counter spells. Play this, see if it resolves. 
me. We can expedite it, but that doesn't really do much. I guess it could potentially draw us into an Emery turn sooner. I'm gonna go ahead and expedite it. Let's see what we get with this. Oh my god, we literally got paid off. Literally got paid off. So excited. No Jeskai sentences milled, please. Ah, uh, we milled one. I think I'm fine with milling one. This now taps for blue, but we have no way to untap, so we're just going to pass the turn. If Pony kills Emery, they kill Emery. We're not too worried about it. Yeah. Emery. Dead Emery. Probably ditches an Arclight Phoenix. Oh, I guess we did kind of pre-game a Tormod script, huh? Again, I, I never even thought about that, but yeah, I, I guess we've kind of shut him off of their deck in a lot of ways. Yep, that's a thing. Alright, opponent. Oh, another Emery. Another Emery's pretty sweet. Here's Emery. So we have infinite blue if we untap with Emery. Then I'm just going to cast a second Tormod script here. Still looking for Jeskai Ascendancy, but we have milled two, unfortunately. Uh, we are not attacking, we are passing the turn. Do I want to give them their thing back? I guess they have to have three spells in hand still, so I guess I'm okay with this. Just getting a second Arclight Phoenix. I guess we could have cast Cornucopia X equals one. That would have been a good line there. Wild Slash on Emery. That's fine. We're still looking just to draw to Jeskai Ascendance. So that, this is fine. We could Retraction Helix to bounce our, uh, yeah. Bounce our own thing, but it doesn't seem worth it. We hit the Jeskai Ascendancy. All right, so. Blue, white, red. Hope they don't have a counter spell. Alright, that's a good start. So, play Asphalt Cornucopia trigger, untap our dudes. So if opponent does not have interaction here, we get to go for it. Uh, yes, we would like to draw. Yes, we'd like to discard. All right, so it's now 1-4. All right, let's go for blue. Attraction Helix, target this. Do you have interaction, opponent? That would mainly be in the form of flipping your thing in the ice, I'd imagine. Petty Theft Bouncing Jeskai Ascendancy. Yeah, that's fine. So we need to draw into a land here, and then we can replay Jeskai Ascendancy and still go off. So land. Sweet. Sweet. So. Oh, if we actually cast Jeskai Ascendancy here. Hmm. We can't combo off, right? Yeah, so let's just go ahead and return this to the hand. Give them their thing back. Let us tap and pass the turn. Good 
good line out of the opponent. But we need another retraction helix to combo off this next turn. Opponent goes for a strategic plan. Bet you their plan is to kill us. Bet you their plan is to kill us. So opponent has two arc lights in there, so we definitely want to note that, but it doesn't look like they're doing anything else this turn. Alright, another carry added. I guess we might as well use this and not take the point of damage. Just guy send it to see, see if the opponent has a counter spell. We can pay for a quench. We can pay for an it charm. Painlessly. Alright, let's go ahead and pass the turn. Go to the opponent. They might have another uh, Brazen Borrower to bounce our Jeskai Ascendancy. Alright, we won the match. Two and one with Jeskai Ascendancy combo. Let's head into our fourth match of this league. Thank you everyone out there that's tuning in. I appreciate you watching. If uh, you like what you see, definitely hit that follow button. It costs you absolutely nothing and lets you know every time I go live. Additionally, if you can't catch the entire stream, everything I stream goes on my YouTube at the link above, bit.ly forward slash Luxac, and that is a capital L on Luxac. Go ahead and head into our fourth match and see what we can do. Lost the die wall. El Nitzo. El Nitzo. Let's see, our opening hand here is pretty strong. We're going to keep this. So it needs an artifact, kind of, but it also needs a land. So we can take a draw step here. Shambling Vent tells me it's probably a black white deck. Look how smart I am. Woohoo, we hit the Torn Watch Crypt. Now we just need a green source. Triple Mana Confluence. The best part about hitting triple Mana Confluence is you know you don't have to draw one later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast this to get it down. I don't know if that's actually correct. Turn two, we're going to go ahead and cast the Carry Added. And turn... Turn two, we're going to go ahead and cast... Yeah, it has to be Kyriata against this deck, right? Oh, it's Abzan. It's Rally. I lied. We're 100% casting Emery, because then we get to kill them if we if we draw a land and untap. Mox Amber also works, so let's go ahead and play our Emery. Trigger. And then it is the opponent's turn. We did mill over a Tormod's Crypt as well. Opponent probably a little shocked by us leading on Tormod's Crypt if they're actually the Rally deck, which I believe they are. Um, this is one of the reasons why we use Tormod's Crypt as one of our combo pieces, is it's very interactive against a lot of decks in the format. I am very glad we're killing our opponent next turn, chat, because that is an Eldrazi Displacer. They are not actually the Rally deck at all. You tricked us, opponent. Alright, so let's go ahead and cast this. Uh, white, red, this only taps for blue. Jeskai's Tendency. Uh, Tormod's Crypt deal. Target Tormod's Crypt. Cast Tormod's Crypt. Alright, let's combo off. Draw, discard silver and carry added, untap, all right, Tormod script, so we have one in the bank, cast Mox Amber, so we get infinite blue, the strategic planning can also be cast, yep, ooh, that's a good one. All right, we're going to go ahead and keep the untapped one, make a blue, cast Mox Amber. All 
draw. Uh, discard carry added. Untap. Keep this one. Blue. Uh, cast Mox Amber. Loot Skis. Okay. Opponent, opponent believes us we can kill them. I, I was just tanking because I think we can cast this Astral Cornucopia once we get infinite blue. And just... Um, Sylvan Awakening off of the Astral Cornucopia, and then they probably concede because they're, the lands are enough to kill them. So opponent, huh? Displacer. Some sort of value deck. So... I think I went Pitting Needles. Probably not all four. Probably two. Two needles sounds correct. Trim on some once upon times. Trim on a Sylvan Awakening. That seems fine. I, I don't think these Tormod's Crypts are as good as uh, I originally thought when they were, I thought they were a rally. The Eldrazi there definitely gives us additional info that they are in fact probably not rally. Not necessarily not rally at all, but Probably not. Just thinking. Maybe we maybe we do want this void snare. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and kinda of expedite for void snare. Alright, El Nitso, let's see what you got. I wonder if their name actually means something. I don't know. Well, this hand is absolutely insane, so we're gonna keep this. Just need a Jeskai ascendancy to win the game. All right, so opponent's gonna ruin our fun a little bit here by thought seizing us. Maybe they're just Abzan, and they chose Displacer as one of their threats. Seems like they built around it a little bit. Discard our Emery. Our term, oh no, we draw the third Mono Confluence. That's not exactly ideal. Um, we're gonna name Eldruzi Displacer. If they are the um, deck that is Rally, then we want to name one of their sack outlets, but game one, unfortunately, we didn't see much of their deck. Well, unfortunately. All right, we're gonna lose our carry added here. And we're just drawing off the top. We're drawing a lot of outs. Even once upon times and stuffs are fine. Jeskai Ascendancy is the nuts. So we're just gonna pass the turn. We do have to take three when we cast Jeskai Ascendancy, which is a little rough, but that's fine. All right, it seems to have kept a very disruptive hand with a couple Thought Seizes in it. Ooh, and misses their third land drop. Well then. Get this down and pass the turn. Now we're hoping to draw into Sylvan Carry added or Emery and hopefully win the game because of it. Charming Prince. Alright, so that's a draw card off of, yeah, the elf. Very sweet. But is it 13 too? So Mentor off the top would probably be lethal. Spire Bluff connect. Alright, so I think we want to loot a little bit here with this Ascendancy, so let's go ahead and cast this Opal. And that's what we were looking for. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing down. And then we'll pass the turn and see if we can get it next turn. That's why Jeskai Ascendancy is awesome, because in addition to being the card that kills your opponent, it helps you find the cards to kill your opponent. Uh, I am going to go ahead and block the 2-2 here. Some Plague Engineer or something here would be terrible for us. I mean, that, yeah, that's going to happen in a lot of our games. All right, so. Let's 
one damage less if I'm actually able to block here, so Spire's not exactly ideal. And we'll pass the turn. So we're still alive to draw Jeskai Ascendancy. We currently only have one in our grave. It's only attacking us for one a turn because we're able to continue chumping their two power creature. See if they play a Displacer this turn. Another Charming Prince. Draws him another card. We draw a Jeskai Ascendancy? Uh, unfortunately not. Well, that is four Mono Confluence on our side of the battlefield. We're, uh, I believe we still have a draw step or two to hit that Jeskai Ascendancy, but door is closing fast, that's for sure. Door is closing fast. Emery, I'm guessing is what this needle goes on. Yeah. Alright, well, I've got this plan. It's a strategic plan. It's to draw Jeskai Ascendancy the last possible turn and see if I can go off with it. Alright, well. This is our turn. Let's see if we can go off. Astral Cornucopia. Yes, we would like to loot. We'd like to loot into exactly Retraction Helix and win the game. Ah, uh, they have another Abrupt Decay. Alright. All right, opponent. All right, you have a dozen abrupt decays. Sure, sure. Sure. I don't think we want these needles anymore. Do you think we want these time ravelers? I don't think we need expedite. And I don't think we need Void Snare. Their hate's not permanent base uh, for the most part. And Teferi can bounce a needle or whatever. Would we like to play first? Yes, we would. We like to keep this hand. Hmm, that's a good question. I'm going to keep this hand. I don't know my feelings on it yet. I'll let you know depending on if I draw my third land or not. Ironically, if we draw Emery, it accelerates it out a little faster, but we have to draw it, or it guarantees it, I guess. Sure, opponent. Uh, they'll probably take care of Mentor here. Uh, Teferi's a much uh, more beat, uh, much beatable. They can beat Teferi easier than they can beat Mentor. If I can speak. Oh, well. Opponent disagrees with me. Okay, so I want to save all these zero drops, hoping they don't have another thought seize. If we rip any land, we cast Mentor next turn and make a bunch of tokens. So please don't thought seize this opponent. And that's this is a thought. That's a needle. All right, needle's fine. Probably naming Emery. Yep. Land. 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 Emery. A little bit awkward, a little bit awkward. All right, so I think that still gets us to this mentor, but it does it in a really awkward way. So we don't get nearly as many tokens. We only get one, a matter of fact. Cancel. White, blue. Cast. Keep, Mentor, Trigger. All right, well, this is the little we have to go on for this game to try and win it. Let's see if we can. This, this is what we've got. Retraction Helix off the top wins the game. Right? Not wins the game, but no, it doesn't win the game. Assassin's Trophy, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't think I have basics, yeah. I, was say, I do not believe I have basic lands in my deck. All right, so we left behind one more with Prowess, though. 
Definitely did that. So we're going to go to combat. We're not going to play this land because if we draw Jeskai's Tendency, it's something to loot away. And we're going to hit him for two. Well, we're no longer going to hit him for two plan now that they have a Shambling Vent. Mr. Rhinoceros in the flesh. It's good to see you, sir. All right, let's go ahead and plan out what we're doing next. Additional mentor, huh? Additional mentor, huh? Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. We can't quite get in with our guy because Siege Rhinoceros is built. And he's he's built to smash and he's gonna smash our face. All right, let's see what the opponent does next. Oh no, is it a double siege rhino? That's a burglar rat. Oh no. Oh no. That's gonna take away our monastery mentor. And it, Modo, even though we only have one card in hand, makes us pick the card. Alright, pass the turn. Burglar Rat, huh? So... It would have to be Jeskai Ascendancy into, and that's going to be a little bit rougher. Siege Rhino is still a couple turns away from killing us, though, so let's keep going. I mean, we're going to be dead drawing to something. I guess a mentor is the start of something, something. But I'm pretty sure that we needed uh, to hit something else a while ago. So if we draw a retraction helix, uh, we only get to bounce one thing. They still kill us. Hmm. We have no more expedites. I guess treasure cruise is currently the draw we want to hit. We have 11 cards in our grave, so it only costs one mana. And Treasure Cruise can be the start of multiple things happening. Uh, all right, well, that's unfortunate. And we are dead because they have Eldrazi Displacer. Well played, opponent. Yep. Alright, but I got it there. Alright, so we're two and two with Jeskai's Tendency going into the last match here. See what we can do. Maybe we should try a league with uh Copycat as well. Seems to be doing pretty well for mental misstep. Oh. Our hardened scales again. That deck is pretty fun as well. Join match. See if we can be on the play. We are on the draw against Falafel. It's not amazing, but it's fine. We cast Jeskai Ascendancy if we find it. Which means we don't want to see it in our once upon a time. Alright, opponent, let's see what you have. Ooh, are you a boggle? Are you a boggler? Ah. Uh, doing something else. Energy, probably. Probably. So let's start off by casting this without paying its mana cost. Grabbing an Emery, and let's just put that on the battlefield turn one. Sounds good? Sounds good. So turn one an Emery, because uh, Once Upon a Time is indeed a very broken magic card. Alright, well this is my first turn opponent. Please don't do better on your second turn. We milled two Once Upon a Times 
as strategic planning and a hollowed found. All right. Now we're looking to strategic planning into Jeskai Ascendancy, and then Jeskai Ascendancy kills them. We have a roadmap to victory. I'm reading the roadmap to victory. I will not get lost, I promise. Oath of Nissa. All right, they might be green white devotion, in which case uh, they will have a potentially banishing light. Grab Botanical Sanctum, play it out into another oath. Second oath grabs. I'll let you know as soon as I know. Uh, uh. So I think about the second one. Grabs Deputy of Detention. Well, Toja Cruz is definitely a card. So. I guess we start with the strategic planning. Need blue from this, unless I want to pay life. Hmm. I guess since they're going to deputy away my Emery. Working towards Sylvan Awakening. Okay, I can buy that. I can believe that. All right, let's go ahead and Tormod Crypt them. Doesn't do much, but we're just going to replay it anyways. I don't think having the one two uh, one damage is any more relevant. Cast Tormod Crypt. All right, go ahead, opponent. Go ahead. Bant Company, lovely. Oh, that's a good call. I think you're correct, abstract, dramatic. I think it is uh, Bant Company, which it would be less than ideal for us, that's for sure. Yeah, this is where they deputy of detention us. Um, but we're just gonna treasure, ooh, no. Well, opponent's giving us draws. So let's draw into, um, so is this, this is four color cat, I guess. All right, let's go to our turn. All right, let's see. Draw. It draws the third land, so that's not terrible. Oh, we already had that, I guess. So it's not great, but it's not terrible. I think all great stories start with a treasure cruise. So I think we're going to start with that. Additionally, I think if we let them untap, we die to a cat. Like, almost certainly. Oh, damn, copycat? Yeah, that's what I said. We hit the Jeskai Ascendancy, though, so uh, we got there. We're, we're killing them. You don't have to worry about Quellers and Night of Autumn. That's for sure we don't. Uh, so Mox Amber. Cast Jeskai Ascendancy. This one will have to make red. This will have to make white. Tormod's Crypt you. Emery Buyback Tormod's Crypt. You're dead. You're dead, opponent. All right, yeah. Uh, we can go ahead and filter some of these lands out of our hand anyways, but we don't actually have to be looting here. All right, let's go ahead and crypt them. Bring back crypt. Replay crypt. Yes, we would. Draw, discard. All right, so gonna crypt them again. <laughs> Reasons why Tormod's Crypt is a main board card. Right here. This, this right here is why Tormod's Crypt is a main board card. Uh, strategic Plane doesn't do very much for us. Matter of fact, I'm probably just going to stop looting now. 
See if the opponent looks like the opponent's considering the concession now. This is uh, I shouldn't say infinite. It technically can go to infinity. It's as many times as we want, but uh, technically we can never reach infinity. All right, opponent, opponent feels it's no longer worth their time to watch us place Tormod's Crypt into our graveyard, put it back on the battlefield, untap our guy, put it in the graveyard, put it back on the battlefield, and untap our guy. So, copycat. Wow, we got, we got something for copycat. We got Pitting Needles. We got a Rending Volley. And, you know, I think these Teferis are pretty good too because they tend to try to interact with us pretty hard. Onces are kind of a loose spot here. Yeah, absolutely. It, not even just against Soul Flare and Dredge. Sometimes against the Mirror, it uh, connects out their graveyard. Against uh, Dig Through Time, it sets that back. Against uh, Treasure Cruise, against Gurmag Angler and uh, Tassigar. It has so much added value. Uh, that Not to mention there's like the Arclight deck. There's so many decks that incidentally also use the graveyard. It's in, it's crazy that Tormod's Crypt stacks itself, costs zero. It fills so many rolls. If it drew a card as well, even if it costs mana, it would be literally the perfect card for this deck. All right, so we're going to cut probably both Expedites. And one of the Sylvan Awakenings and go like that. I like to keep in one Sylvan Awakening. Yeah, exactly. So um, instead of them ju it just being like Tormod's Crypt, you exile five cards, and they're like, all right, cool, haha, -ha, put five cards in my graveyard, one mana treasure cruise again. It's like, no, 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 no. Tormod's Crypt, you, and they're like, all right, well, it's going to take me two or three turns to get that online again. Well, we have turn one Emery again. <laughs> so we're drawing to Jeskai Sentency. We're going to keep this. We also have a uh, rending volley as interaction. I think this is a very good hand. Show of hands, who else feels that this is a very good hand? Punch playing the once upon a time tech. Are you gonna show us a kitty cat? Are you gonna show us a kitty cat? I also, by the way, thought bank company when I saw, oh, they are gonna hit a dork on one. That's kind of nice for them. And Rending Volley cannot hit dorks for the record. It's only for the cat. Uh, strategic Planning, though, is a pretty good draw, because that'll be a good second turn. I should have played Spire Bluff there. Uh, just played the closest land, not thinking it mattered. To be fair, the two points of damage probably doesn't matter against Copycat, but nonetheless, I should have uh, saved it. Alright, two Attraction Helixes isn't exactly what we wanted to mill, but zero Jeskai Ascendancy is what we want. Is this a Teferi? Land of Elves, that's fine. Infinite Cats, Infinite Cats, that's how I look at it too. So while it was technically a punt, uh, especially because these Spire Bluff Canals will eventually enter tapped, um, it's not a punt that ultimately should matter. So let's start off with the strategic planning. And this way we can hold up Spire Bluff Canal as well. Don't mind if I treasure cruise. I'm fine tapping down this turn. So treasure cruise, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a blue. Let's draw three new cards. Gas back up. Hit the Jeskai Ascendancy. All right, opponent. The pressure is now on you to kill us. Yeah, it does. Actually, that's one of the reasons why we're running uh, Cruise over Dig Through Time is because Emery makes Treasure Cruise cost one so often that it's literally ridiculous. We could have technically crypted them. Emery bought back Crypt. But against their deck, I actually think I do want to block the one damage now. And I don't think the one once upon a time matters. Let's see what the opponent plays here. Belladere Guardian. Yep. That one's good. 
Blinking a dork. I I don't think that works how you think it does, opponent. I think you meant to blink a land. Okay, hopefully opponent does not have one mana interaction and we get to start going off. So, red, white, blue, Jeskai Ascendancy. Tormod's Crypt Deal. Cast Retraction Helix on this, maintain priority. Oh, put these on the stack. Target Tormod's Crypt for an additional thing. So now we have two things. Uh, we will draw, we will discard. Woohoo, we hit second Mox Amber. We have infinite blue. Uh, that's fine. It hasn't gained the ability yet. All right, let's go ahead and bounce back their Felidar Guardian. Take it back, opponent. All right, go ahead and cast a second Mox Opal. Draw. Uh, I'm going to discard Rending Volley. I don't think we need it anymore since we bounced the Feller to our Guardian. All right, we got there. Boom, rounding out this league with a 3-2 thanks to Jeskai Ascendancy Combo. Uh, thank you everyone on YouTube that's watching this. Please remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below if this is something you enjoyed watching. My people on Twitch, do you wish to see an additional league or... Um, if not, I'm going to go to the pumpkin patch with my kids. So 